Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine. This is the final outcome. I will be showing you lots of close-ups so you can really see close-up shots, my pores, you can see all the details and see how well these products really work. The first product I always put on my lips is the Gizu Honey Infused Lip Oil. I purchased this recently so it is a new purchase but I feel like it just leaves my lips with a little bit more moisture throughout the day. I first then apply the Charlotte Tilbury Healthy Glow. I'll put this all over my face. This is a hero product for me. It really just gives my skin a really healthy glow. I love wearing this product on its own. It has like a tinted moisturizer inside so it's perfect for summer and it's really hydrating as well so I feel like applying this after I fake tan really helps my skin to keep glowing. On top of that, I then apply the By Terry Brightening CC Serum in the glowing base color and I absolutely adore this. I've had this now for around a year and it is without a doubt a product I will never stop using. Again, this is a product I take on holiday with me. It just gives your skin almost like a tan, an instant kind of glowing, glowy tan and it lasts throughout the day. I'll put this on on its own or I will put it on underneath my foundation to give my skin that bit of glow along with the other products that I've used. For foundation, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I use one pump for my whole face. Using a makeup brush, I'll then put dots around my whole face to make sure I'm able to cover the whole face and neck using just that one pump. I feel like it goes a longer way doing this and then I know that I'm able to cover all the areas that I want to. I feel like when it comes to this product, a little bit goes a long way. It's quite a buildable foundation and I feel like if I put too much on, it can look too much very easily. However, this is a great product because it lasts all day, all night. I never feel like I have to reapply. For concealer, I'm actually using the Dior Forever Skin Glow. The lady at the counter actually gave me the complete wrong colour, so I have been using this as a concealer for under my eyes and kind of to highlight parts of my face. And it has been working really well, actually, um, but I just wanted to make sure I use it up rather than it sitting in my makeup drawer. I'll then use a the makeup brush to blend in the Dior foundation. If I zoom in here, you can see how this product really brightens up the areas that I've placed it, gives my skin a real glow, and I think it works really well, hence why I've been using it as a concealer. eyebrows I've been using this new product the Diego Dalla Palma and oh my goodness it has changed my brow game completely I just use an angle brush which I picked up from Superdrug it was one of their own range ones and it has the kind of spoolie on one end as well and I'll just do fine little brush strokes going up I'll try and only put product on the bottom of my eyebrows rather than on the top otherwise I feel like they can look a bit too heavy I have had my brows HD laminated but this was about four or five months ago I try and go every four four or five months to keep them looking good and I feel like that works well for me so I've really zoomed in here hoping that you can see how the product just glides on really easily and I can almost reshape my brows with the product and I think it gives quite a natural look once I feel like I've got my desired shape I'll brush them through and as you can see one side is done and the other eyebrow is not done and I think they make such a difference to my the shape of my face. I'm just gonna now do the other eyebrow but I'm gonna speed this a little bit up for you so you don't have to watch it again. To finish my brows off, I'm using the Trini London Lash to Brow in black and chestnut. So it's chestnut on the brows, black in the mascara. So one end is a eyebrow brush and the other is a mascara brush. This product keeps my eyebrows in place all throughout the day. I found that when I first started getting HD brows, I felt like the upkeep would be really hard if I put a jumper on my brows would move out of place for example. However, this product keeps them in place all throughout the day, even with kids like rubbing my eyebrows. And I feel like this is a really good product to have. I have tried so many brow gels and they have not worked the same way that this one has. It's 
it's a product that I will continue to use now for the foreseeable. For contouring, I have been using the Trini London Cheekbones Contour. And again, this is a really good product that I've really enjoyed using. And I've actually switched this up from my Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Um, I just feel like this gives you a really nice matte finish. So I'll apply it down my nose, on the side of my cheeks, and on my forehead, and just under my chin to sculpt my chin. I'll then use a makeup brush to blend that contour in. Sometimes I'll use my finger and do like the patting method or I'll use a makeup brush and blend it up towards the outside of my face. So I've zoomed in again for you here and I really hope you can see the way that the product works. The Trini London products that I'm now using in this video are a staple and will probably stay in my makeup, everyday makeup routine for a very long time. For blush, I'm using the iconic London in sheer blush. Now to be completely honest with you, I normally save this one for nights out because it has more of like a shimmer to it. The one that I tend to use in the daytime is the Trini London Lip to Cheek and you can apply that on your cheeks and your lips. However, I seem to have misplaced it. This was the one that I had been using in the daytime until I received the Trini one. So I thought I would still use this anyway and show you. I apply three dots on my cheeks, one on my nose, and then I rub that in just using the patting method because I feel like using a brush would take away the foundation underneath and it gives a real subtle shimmery finish. For my everyday eyes, I use the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes palette. And I first go in using a brush with the shade Nude, and I'll just apply this on my crease line. And then I'll go in with the color Seashell on the whole of my eyelid and underneath my eyes. I always like to stick to quite a subtle nude color. I don't like anything too dark or anything too light. So something that's kind of in between. I'll use the brush, but I'll also use my finger to like blend it out a little bit. For my lashes, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. Now this mascara, I don't think I will ever find another one that's got a better brush on it, to be honest with you. So it has like a flat side and then it has the brush on it. The idea is to kind of push your lashes up using the flat side and then comb your lashes through using the brush side. I personally find this brush to really lengthen your lashes but also brush them through so there is no clumps. I really don't like a kind of heavy mascara. I prefer something that's quite natural. One coat would give me a really natural look for daytime and then if I was going out in the evening I would just apply a few coats like just keep layering it on. All in all it's an absolutely amazing mascara. I think the only thing that I need to pair with it is an eyelash curler. There's a tiny little bit of excess mascara on my eyelid, so I'm just gonna use a cotton bud to brush that off and it comes away really easily. I then line my lip with MUA Intense Color Lip Liner in the shade Love Letter. I think this is a really nice everyday nudie pink and I love how it works with my skin tone. I like to apply this to my lip line first because I like to exaggerate my lips a little bit because they aren't the fullest and then I'll also cover my whole lip with this shade because I like how it pairs nicely with the lipstick that I apply on top. I then apply my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick on top and I really like the way the two colours blend together to make this kind of everyday, casual, pinky, nude tone. And then I finish off spraying the iconic London Prep Set Glow all over my face. In the summer, I start with this as well, but at the moment I'm just using it to set my face. It gives me a real golden glow with a little bit of a shimmer, but not too much. I really love how it sits on my skin once it's dried. 
And there you have it, this is my everyday makeup routine. I will link everything in the description box below for you and if you have any questions just drop them in the comments section below.